Hi, welcome to this video, this tutorial. We are going to launch version 6.4.1. And this video is for anybody who never heard of Arch Merge before. So we will go over all the desktop environments and where the key elements are to change them. So Arch Merge is what you see here, that that's an XFCE environment. We already changed some folders. That's not a normal folder. And the settings to change your system in XFC is hidden in here. Appearance, here you can change your, your colors and all that. Anything goes, just click and it has been changed. Normally, I think it's this uh, setting we have, the Sadi Monocolora, as uh, colors for the folders. But there are hundreds and hundreds of other uh, ways to show up your system. There is Sardian Server, don't forget paper or papyrus or Numix, as we just saw. There is also Hello, which is this kind of look. So lots of icons to choose from. That's the fun or the, the goal of uh, Arch Merge. You install it, change the wallpaper, change the theme. That's it. So these are your themes, your icons and your fonts. I've made it a little bit bigger already. And we talked about the variety, well, the wallpaper. And there is a little icon down here and in this uh, system, this, this application variety, you can actually say wallpaper selector. And there are wallpapers that are coming from the internet. So this one is not from Arch Merch. This is one from desktopper.co, this as well. Things like that, they pop up and they're supplied by, like this one, are supplied by variety. So you can just choose whatever you like in here. And of course, there are other ways of uh, getting your wallpaper. There is also the way to do it not in here, I guess. So there's a right mouse click or context button. But there are other ways to set your wallpaper in here as well. So this is an interesting, uh, well, setting window. Everything that you might want to set, like Bluetooth power and so on, the display that's not correct, the desktop, so the wallpaper, all these things are in here. I've chosen now a very strange uh, looking um, icon theme, so I'm going to take something else, which is a bit nicer. In my view, of course, a very personal view, I know. Well, let's take uh, this one. All right, close. So each, each time you change your icons, well, it, everything changes as well here, okay? Well, um, that's enough, I think, for XFCE. You just go over all the application that it provides. Um, we can't go into detail. We just go into the design, Let, take a little bit of a look at the settings in here, and that's it. So you're good to go. Everything will work. At some point in time, you say there are three desktop environments in this system. There is XFCE and there is OpenBox. Let's go there first. This is open box. It is a bit strange and the icons are here dark. Why? Because we've chosen a specific icon theme. So that is the consequence. Here as well, variety is present. So if with a next button, we get something from Desktopper. This is not from us, Arch Merge. This is coming from somewhere else, so Purgatory. Nice one. Let's give it, uh, let's keep this one. So, ah, Blank has decided to arrive. Great. With a right mouse click, you have the menu. This is open box, remember? Completely different. There is no start a button, anything like it. It's just this one, a menu. And with a menu, you can check out all the elements that are uh, necessary to change. For instance, XFC appearance is here as well. Lightium appearance is here. LX appearance is here. So if you want to change icon theme again, uh, you can do so to Sardi arc for instance apply and but in open box you have to change several things as you can see these things do not change uh, open box a little bit different and that's why we start with xfce i think that's the easiest way to learn linux and then move to open box because open box and xfce are is a gathering of elements so this part still points to Numix Circle Light because this is XFCE. 
um, this application down back here that's Tunar and Tunar is not open box application it's an XFCE application so we have to set it with the XFCE settings manager so if we do this and then click here then we're better in line with the wallpaper and blue background blue wallpapers and that's all good so it's a bit more tricky but as you know archmerch.com all the tutorials are online to learn about conkeys, to learn about setting preferences of any of these things, about the tin to GUI, which is this bar up here, but where we have also an alternative polybar just launched in January 2018. So there are lots of things to still learn about, and that's the fun, uh, uh, I believe, that you have one system, XFCE, Openbox, i3, you can keep learning and learning and learning, just on the same SSD, the same computer, and you have all your files, your file manager, all your files stay in here. You just switch from desktop environment and try to figure out again, how does it work? Because we're going to number three. If we exit Openbox and we log out, we're going to i3, the third uh, environment or desktop environment. Many will say, no, Eric, it's not a desktop environment. It's more a window tiling manager. And they're correct, of course. We can tile stuff. If we press super return, it's going to tile into two parts. You see two parts here popping up. But there are also workspaces down here. And we can say, we can set all these settings, which I'm not going to do. But everything is now tiled. If I press here, enter, or like so, then you can do stuff like that so the same applies here we have here also vivaldi or firefox or google chrome and you go you can navigate to it and all the articles are available on archmerch.com and also in, in some cases in archmerch.com so both of them have open box xfc i3 but archmerch.com has them as well because the one with archmerch.com it starts with the ISO of Arch Merch, but the other one starts with the ISO of Arch Merched with a D. So there's a little difference, uh, and one letter difference makes a whole world uh, changes a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is i3. Getting back out here is Super X, and Super X gives this red line here. Super is a Windows key, and we can uh, log out with L, and we're back where we were, and then go to you say, okay, XFCE is for me the first thing to learn, and you go back in, and XFCE will be the standard, and there are tutorials to change that. So that's a, a quick look, an overview of what Arch Merge can do for you. We have uh, over 200 uh, tutorials, I think, already online. So um, it's the intention is you, for you to learn about Arch Linux. There are two ways to do it with an Arch Merge ISO, and if you are ready for it and you have enough linux skills then you go with arch merged with a d and you start making your own system with scripts and then you start to understand the arch wiki even more all right enjoy arch merch